Yo, what's up guys, Waggly here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can get high FPS on Fortnite, even if you have a very bad PC. This will also work if you're using a Mac. I'm gonna be showing you guys a software that you can use to play Fortnite or many other different games over the internet. So you're not using your PC's power to power Fortnite, you're using an online system. For this to work, you will need a pretty strong internet. So if you don't have that, unfortunately, this method will not really work for you. But in order to do this, you don't wanna go into Fortnite through the Epic Games launcher. You actually want to go into your browser and search nvidia geforce now um i'll leave a link in the description but you want to go to this download over here and download it for windows or mac so if you're on mac even if you're using a mac you can still play fortnite which is pretty cool since Fortnite on Mac and mobile is like stuck in season three playing on mac os through nvidia geforce now will allow you to play in the current Fortnite season on your Mac and still get crazy high frame rates. So whether you're on Windows or Mac, just download the appropriate one and click on it here. Okay, now just wait for it to load here. Hit agree and continue. And now you have NVIDIA GeForce Now. So as you can see, there's thousands of different games that you can play on this NVIDIA GeForce Now, but you will have to own them. So you don't get them for free. So if you just sign in with your account with that particular game you'll be able to play it now before we go over to fortnite and click play you need to make sure that you're logged in so if you don't have an account click join today join now and as you can see this is completely free so if you do the free version you'll be able to play for up to an hour and it's still a very good experience but if you pay up for these other options here you could get up you can be playing on an rtx 3080 or or 1440p or 4k like but if you do the free option here you'll only be able to play for one hour but the pc that you get is still very good so i think the free option is a very good deal so after an hour of playing you will unfortunately have to relaunch it but it's not too big of a deal since you're getting a, a pc for free pretty much so click join and then just create an account with your email or Google or whatever account you wanna create it with. But once you've made an account, go back to this tab, which you get from clicking log in here. It'll open this tab here and click NVIDIA and then just sign in with the account that you created. Okay, you will have to verify your email address, but once you do that, you should be able to log in. Once it says you are logged in, then you can go back to the app here. As you can see, it's logged in with your account. Now, these are the games that I have on here. So if you own any of the games that this supports, and there's a lot of free games, you'll be able to play. And the best part about this is you'll be able to use your existing Fortnite account. So you won't need to make a new account to do this. So click play and connect. And then over here, you can connect your Steam account for Steam games, your Ubisoft account for Ubisoft games that you own, and play any of the games that you have. But this is for Fortnite, so log in with your Epic Games account. And then just sign in with however you sign into Epic Games. And once you've signed in, just click Allow. And then once it says Epic Games account is connected, you can close this and close this other one too, and go back to the app. And once it says your Epic Games account is connected, you can close that. And then you can go back to games here and click play on Fortnite. Now, once it says this, you're good. It'll see how strong your internet connection is. If you have a fast enough internet connection, then this should work. So it may give you a warning here. Um, you can try these troubleshooting tips, but once you're ready, you just click continue and then it'll connect. You will have to wait in a queue but there's only 13 people ahead of me, so I'll get in pretty quickly. And of course, you can upgrade if you want to not have to wait, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue because I'm already almost in. That didn't even take one minute. Um, if something like this pops up, just press allow access. And now you can see Fortnite is loading up. And now it's on the loading screen. I'm loading into Fortnite off of another PC. This is kind of crazy. All right, just click play. Okay, you can choose to have nvidia highlights but i'm gonna turn that off all right skip that okay okay i just had to turn off the music that was so loud for some reason all right but as you can see i'm on my fortnite account and i'm not even playing off my pc so if you go into the settings here 
it's set to 120 fps let's see how high this can go i'm gonna go on unlimited and it has some settings set here i'm just gonna turn everything to low which is what you should do for the best fps i'm actually gonna switch to performance mode because performance mode will give you the best fps fortnite's just gonna have to restart here okay as you can see fortnite loaded up so i'm gonna go back into settings and now i'm on performance mode so i'm gonna keep this on unlimited to see how high of frames i can actually get and low meshes performance mode so i'm just gonna load into creative so in the creative hub as you can see i'm getting like 300 around 300 200 fps so i'm just gonna go into my island here and start the game so as you can see i'm getting around like 300 almost 400 a little bit fps and this is crazy because i'm not even playing off my own pc now i, I did have to re-put in my binds and my sense is definitely off but That'll just take one minute to change. This feels extremely responsive and it just feels amazing. So no matter what device you're playing on, you will always get the same amount of FPS because you're pretty much playing off of a different computer. So anyone on Mac or anyone on a bad computer can play Fortnite at the same experience. It will reset after an hour and you'll have to load back in, but that's not too much of an issue considering that this is completely free. So guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.